screams from keys. According to the experts, the best thing to do is get out. If you wait until the last minute, it could be too late. If you don't get out, you may be putting yourself and your family at risk. Join us next time for a look at other major cities long overdue for a hurricane and the possible consequences. Until then, tune to the Tropical Update here on the Weather Channel at 47 minutes after every hour. In Texas and Oklahoma, warmer than normal out west. How much warmer than normal? Well, this will give you an idea. 111 degrees, a new record for Las Vegas, Nevada. Flagstaff, Arizona, broke a new record at 87 degrees. How cold is it this morning? This will give you an idea of that. 53 degrees in Chicago, Illinois. A new record look. Here's reporting about 51 degrees, I think, right now. So this might even be lower. 61 at Huntsville, 69 over at Corpus Christi. All record lows. And Houston, Texas, good morning to you. 69 degrees, a tied record. Currently, it's up to 70 degrees in Houston. San Antonio, still 69 degrees. I spent some years in San Antonio, and I don't remember it being that cold it never was on this day, right? You know, especially in August when you got that heat out there. 74 in Atlanta, 85 in Miami. In the Northeast, 67 at Albany, New York, 74. Got some rain moving through here with a cold front that's working from west to east. Cold start in International Falls, 51. Kind of expect that, but cool 61 in Chicago, 57 in Des Moines. Out west, it's 60 in Medford. Going to have a cooling trend here. That's welcomed. Down in the south, though, no relief in sight. 91 in Phoenix, and a high heat index is forecast again today. There's enough humidity in the air to make it feel even hotter, believe it or not, than that thermometer indicates to you. And you're used to it being the other way around with the air so dry normally. Along the coast, we have some fog that's built in this morning. Much problems, many problems with fog in Illinois and Indiana as well. Behind this front, high pressure builds in, pushes this front to the east, and out ahead of it, showers and storms. Bruce says, but I shouldn't speak like that. I should be a little more glib. So I'm trying real hard this morning. Along the coast, a lot of fog in eastern Pennsylvania through West Virginia. I'll get you, Bruce. Down here in the south, we're going to have rain and thunderstorms in southern Alabama. In eastern Texas, oh, we've got plenty of rain there, too. That was the reason for those delays around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Let's put the satellite picture in a motion for you. Notice this. This is a big upper-level disturbance. It's tracking to the east. It's bringing some moderate rain into some areas of the northern parishes of Louisiana. And along this front and underneath it, we've got rain this morning, although this is very light and not really creating any problems this morning except for some nuisance wet roads for you travelers around Cleveland, Ohio, and around Columbus and Akron, Canton. It's finally news. Looks like this is going to go on much of the day, and this is moving to the east. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the...